Hi, Phil Lindsay here with Peep Magazine, and we're here with Tommy Ward, whose older brother is fighting for the British title a week on Friday, 20th of November. And Tommy, you're also going to be on the card in your 16th, 16th fight. 16th. So yeah. 15 previous wins, unbeaten, mm -hmm. getting better all the time. Having your trainer, having your manager, lots of people from around the region talking big things about you. That's right, yeah. I mean, um, I expect big things from myself, you know. Every fight I've been in, I've uh, been improving. I mean, this is the sixth round of this one. I'd had my me first ten round last out, but I can only get six rounds on this build because obviously Martin's fighting for the British title. But um, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait and, uh, for next Friday and then hopefully get the win. And then next year I'm expecting big things, so I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm really looking forward to to Martin's fight itself. I mean, I've got to come and do a job myself. I've got a tough opponent coming in, and according to Neil, he's given a lot of people good problems, and uh, it comes to fight. But, I mean, it's a ring, and I ain't going anywhere, so if he's coming, he's coming. Yeah, yeah. But I expect a good fight and uh, get the win, and then, as I said, hopefully next year we can move on and, and get a get titles win, by back, bring him back to North East. Well, I've seen you from the start. I've seen you come all the way through. And from day one, I mean, what, what, from the amateur background, was it European ju junior champion you were yeah. as well, weren't you? Yeah, I mean, uh, amateur background, I had 64 fights, 160. Uh, European gold medals, double ABA champion, CYP's champion, schoolboy champion, uh, four times GB champion as well. So, so you didn't do much then? Uh, <laughs> you know, I had a very good amateur background. Oh, and um, bringing it into the programme now, learning all the time by Neil, because Neil takes me and gets me good, very good span with the best of kids around, whoever you can get it with, so learn every fight, and plus I'm learning off... off all the different styles of sparring as well. Yeah, all the different styles of sparring and, and all good sparring, and I'm learning off my brother Martin as well, I mean, he's he's been in big fights since really I've started, mm -hmm. and... And you've obviously been there with him I've been there with him, well. yeah, I've been there with him, and training alongside him and that there, so things are going really well, and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I bet you're looking forward to the whole night, obviously, fighting. I, I don't know the guy, the name of you, the, no. the fighting, but um, Phil was saying that he fought Michael, was it Michael Roberts? Michael Roberts, yeah, who's 16 and 0, and um, he got come out with a draw with him, I mean, uh, not very long ago, so obviously I'm 15 and 0, he, he'd be probably expecting the same, but he's yeah, not getting it. Not getting it. He's not getting it, no, I'm, uh, I'm going to do what I can to prevent that and keep my uh, me 16 and 0. Um, but I am expecting a good fight. I said Neil said he's going to come and have a have a good go, and I'm expecting that, and I'm looking forward to that. I want to see what he can bring. I think at this stage of your career, when you want to be going towards titles, you need those tests. You, you need people coming in with that mentality. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, when it comes to the tests, yeah, I mean a lot of people there uh, when they've got the test, they, they haven't been able to handle it because I mean they've been getting handpicked, yeah. handpicked opponents so that they, that they can blow over. But that's not like my case. I mean I've had 15, um, 15 fights and fifteen wins and. Most some of them fights has been some well. good tests, you know. So I've so I've had them. So, um, but I'm looking forward to it because Neil expects something from this kid. So I want to see what he can bring. But I'm sure after the fight, I'm going to tell him, "Haha, I told you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's good because it's when these tests come along. I suppose in some ways that's where you find out just what you can bring out of yourself because only when you get asked those questions can you provide those answers. Of course you do. Like Neil says, oh, Tommy can do it in sparring, he looks apart in sparring. In sparring, I'm, I'm sparring top quality kids. Top quality kids. And it's because I look the part, it's because they're bringing it out of me. You've got to step up your game. You know, so like I said, when these kids are going to come to fight and want to step it up, they're going to get, they're going to get the best of me. And I'm, I'm ready to bring it and I'm ready for next year. I'm ready for titles. Well, I'm about two and a half, three stone heavier than you, and I wouldn't like the best of you, so God help your opponents. But I tell you what, if not beforehand, I'll see you on fight Thank night. Tommy Ward, all the, uh, one final question. How's the fight going to go with your brother? Martin's going to win. Definitely, I've seen no doubt about it. Jason Dickinson's a good opponent, top quality opponent, but he's got whatever Jason Dickinson brings to the table, Martin's got an answer to it, and I know he has. And it'll, it'll, it'll be a good fight, but Martin will be winning. You couldn't get a man with more inside information than Definitely Tommy not. Ward here, so... <laughs> Definitely not. I mean, alongside him, seeing on, on the same diet, everything. And he's, he's, got, he's got what it takes to beat Jesse Dickinson, definitely. Champion. Looking forward to it. Longest handshake in history also. Tommy Ward, fantastic, man. Bless you, man.